Okay, hi guys, so one last video to show you how to create the frequency table that we've made more or less manually before using um, a shortcut essentially in the form of an Excel function. Now, like I said before, Excel does have a lot of different functions. There are loads of things that you can do with data. Um, this is one of the slightly more advanced ones, but um, still relatively easy to follow. And basically what it does is it counts cells based on what's in them. Okay, so obviously all of these cells right here represent someone's answer to question number two, which was about dietary preference. And they all contain values A, B, C, D, E, F. And all of these here contain values as well, just in the form of one through seven instead of A through F. And what we can tell Excel is that to, set, to essentially do what we did before, which was count the number of cells that have a specific value in them, but without having to sort and go through the data um, before. So it's essentially the same thing, but a little bit quicker. And the function that we use for this is called count if. So we will put an equal sign in here, which signals, signals that we want to use a function again. And we type count if. We then open a bracket and we highlight the range that we want to include. So let's say down here, that's all of the answers to question two. So I'll highlight this whole thing. And this is even with the zeros in it. Okay, so we didn't even have to delete the empty rows of data here. Okay, so this is the range that I want to include, I then press a comma. And then what I want to press, uh, what I want to get is averted commas or quotation marks, okay, which are on shift two on your keyboard. So you press and hold shift and press two, press two, that gives you quotation marks. And I then say A, because here I want to know how many of these cells contain the letter A. Okay, quotation marks again, and close the bracket, press enter. And we have 112, which is the same count that we had before but it is just much quicker. Now, in order to get the rest of these, we can do two things. We can, we can type the formula again and again in these cells and just replace the different letters, or we can use what we have in Excel, which is a drag and drop function. So we can basically take this formula right here that we wrote and we can copy it into all of these cells. Okay, so essentially I can go copy and I can place this formula into all of these cells right here. Okay, and it will count how many times each of the cells occurred. Now, the problem with Excel is, and this is something we will look into a little bit more in depth next time, is that it moves the selection range down with the formula. So as you can see here, it's now moved this selection range up down with um, going down one cell here. Okay, it just does that automatically because it thinks that's what we want it to do. We can just change that by, um, you can highlight this little box which comes up if you go into the cell. So you can just double click on any of these cells and it basically shows you what's inside. And it comes up with this little box around the range that you've selected. You just move that back up to where you want it to be. Okay, so same here. We'll just move that back up here as well and so on. And then what we can do is we can replace here. Obviously, we wanted to count all of the cells that said A. In the next one, we actually want to count all of the cells that say B instead. So let's just change this A to a B, press enter, and we get our 25 as we had it before. Okay, so that's just an introduction into one of the more advanced functions in Excel. You can finish this properly. Remember, you're going to have to shift the range back over um, to the top here, and then you can do the same for um, the answers to question number one as well.